look at the internet as a whole, uh, it is starting to develop intelligence. It's a brain, by all means. Rudimentary, of course. You've got computers instead of neurons. Uh, you've got broadband lines instead of axons and dendrites. Uh, but effectively, what is happening on the internet is we are creating a global brain. You can already see that happening now with what people call collective consciousness. What happens on sites like Wikipedia, where collective groups port their information into the internet and the internet comes up with answers. For me, when you look at my background, I'm largely a brain scientist and academic gone bad. I was in a doctoral program at Brown University studying the brain when I realized the parallels between the brain and the internet. So I did what any good entrepreneur would do. I left graduate school with a couple of my professors and I started an internet company. And that set me off on my path running internet company after internet company after internet company, but always looking back to the brain for the parallel. Uh, that, that gives me a guide. It gives me a yardstick. It allows me to see things a little bit further through the ferment, uh, in my mind, than most of my competitors and my peers. And I, I leverage that always um, as I build my businesses. But more importantly, I'm leveraging those businesses to build the global internet brain because that's my real passion. That's my real goal. I want to bring as many people onto the internet. I want to bring as much technology to the internet so that we can drive the internet into hypergrowth so that we can fuel, for the first time, real intelligence, not artificial intelligence, real intelligence that's been driven through computers and the internet. When I think of life reimagined, I think the most significant change that we're, that we're seeing right now is what's happening with the human brain and how it's becoming commingled with computers and the internet. Imagine if we had an alien life form come down from, say, Mars, uh, and they said, we're, we're, we're a benevolent group. Um, we want to give you unlimited power of computing and calculation. We want to give you unlimited memory. We want to give you the ability to communicate with your world, with the Earth, instantaneously, within seconds. All we're going to ask in return is you have to give up your privacy. You have to give up all of your information. And you have to become tightly interconnected for this to work. Most people think of that as a really scary proposition. Uh, the problem is we already have that. Uh, and it's worse than that, of course. It didn't come from aliens. It came from us. We created it. And we are all massively interdependent. I've seen surveys that have come out recently that said that people would give up sex before they would give up the Internet. That's how dependent we are on this new vehicle. So to say that we aren't interacting in some fundamental, thoughtful way with this Internet, to say that there isn't something unique happening, something more than what we thought when the World Wide Web came out, which was we were going to be a new source of television, a new source of media, um, to where we are now with the Internet, uh, is really doing the Internet a disservice. Something special is happening. We might not quite understand what it is, how it's evolving, or how it's going to revolve in terms of creating revolutionary technology, but in the end, we are creating a semblance of intelligence, and whether that intelligence is a global intelligence on the order of a global brain that we're all connected to, or whether it is a uniform intelligence in the sense that we have an entity um, that is growing in intelligence that will eventually be able to evolve on its own, we don't know yet. And, that, you know, and that's largely because we're in the early innings. You know, we, we, are, we are discovering uh, you know, a, a, new, a new entity, uh, a new life form in many ways. And that new life form is going to evolve in a way that we can't hope to predict at this point.